Hi, this is Cookie, and I'm having the weirdest case of deja vu right now. Yep, I've definitely heard that boner sound effect somewhere before. Hmm. Four players. Bring it. Everyone's got a nice little screw. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Sculpt by Numbers! Anybody can sculpt with our patented Sculpt by Numbers system! Unfortunately, not many people want to. Please help us! If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. <laughs> Hang on tight, we're in for a ride. Get ready, time for fashion! To get things rolling, I make my lovers wear masks. Which superhero routinely says I love you in American Sign Language as he travels across rooftops? Batman, Wolverine, Daredevil, or Spider-Man? Spider-Man presses his middle and ring finger to the center of his palm with the others extended to activate his web shooters. This is also the sign for I love you. Just like a guy, tell you they love you right before they shoot their web all over you. Am I right, ladies? It's time for... Raging Red Bull. And it's a dis or dat. Player four? You need the most help, so this dis or dat is just for you. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's... A Martin Scorsese movie, an International Bartenders Association officially recognized cocktail, or both. If it's a film by Martin Scorsese, press the square button. If it's one of the 80 or so official cocktails, press the circle button. If it's both, press X. The rest of you ought to pay attention. Choose an answer before player four, and if player four gets it wrong, I'll split the cash among everyone who got it right. Cool, let's do it. Manhattan! French Connection! Godfather! Aviation! Between the Sheets! Clover Club! Casino! <laughs> that made me laugh like a clown. It amused me. Yeah, they were all cocktails except Casino, which is both a cocktail and a Martin Scorsese movie. It was kind of a trick question. Don't like it? Well, f you, you fucking f. Sorry, I've been watching Casino. Next up, here we go around the manberry bush. If Robin Thicke makes love to two sexy ladies round robin style, how many total rounds of lovemaking will there be? One round, two rounds, three rounds, or... All right, player two, let me know who's getting screwed. Goodness, player one, you're screwed. You got five seconds to give me an answer. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Nice screw work there, player two. Why not grab a few more bucks while you're at it? Players two and four. If they make love round robin style, each person will need to make love to every other person in the group once. So Robin will have to make love with both women individually, and then the two women will also have to, you know, together, adding up to three total rounds of lovemaking. And the whole time, Pharrell Williams is just awkwardly hanging out in the background. Player three? Can't do anything right, can you? How about... Men don't ask for One Directions. So, you know how One Direction is all, Hey, look at me, and I'm all... Ah, what the hell? Sorry, boy, I was trying to change the radio. That's not the radio, old man.
What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that scurly up doodly do? It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. Skin scurly up do? I forget. Why can't I get this thing to play music? I want to hear that song. What song? Ah, you know how it goes. Uh, dooby doo 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 doo. Skeep a doo doo. I see a little boat. Wait a second. No, that's not how it goes. Why don't you describe it? We'll see if we can figure it out. Well, all right. Let's see. It was this lady singing, and she's upset with her relationship. Then she literally spells it out for him, and at the end, it's just sack it to me a bunch of times. What was that song? Okay, is it Proud Mary? I got you, babe. Respect or Vogue? I think you know it's coming. <laughs> Player three? Honest mistake. <laughs> Player four? Was it Respect, old man? <laughs> that's it. Respect. Oh, you know, I'm done listening to the radio box. And now I'll just unplug this little doohead key. No, old man, don't unplug the microphone. <laughs> Ridiculous! How does he keep getting in here? Five fingers! May I introduce Mind Over Manners? Which of these museum art pieces features a rude person who is not taking off his hat while inside the museum? Woods American Gothic, Botticelli's The Birth of Venus, Magritte's The Son of Man, or my- Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. Magritte's Son of Man features a man whose face is obscured by a green apple as he rudely continues to wear a hat indoors. I haven't been this upset at a painting since I noticed Judas was chewing with his mouth open at the Last Supper. I'm going to chisel away at some of your cash. But you'll do some chiseling of your own with... A Sculpt by Numbers Slab! With so many sculptures to choose from, you can take your pick! And then choose which sculpture to make with your pick. By pick, I mean a pickaxe. This wrong answer of the game has netted you an extra 4,000. Congratulations. That's all we got for round one. And player two is out in front. And I am on the edge of my seat. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And don't forget about your screws. You didn't come here to make friends. This one's known as a sexy French trivia question. Which of these famous maids might end up taking a ride on the Maid of the Mist? Rosie from the Jetsons visiting the Thames River? Alice from the Brady... Player three, where's that screw going? Player one, you've been screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. <laughs> no. Superlative use of the screw, player three. Don't stop there, get some more cash. <laughs> Players two, three, and four. The Maid of the Mist is the name of the boats, multiple boats actually, that take people on tours of Niagara Falls. But I'm not getting on a boat with anybody from Downton Abbey. Two words. Draw ma. Question seven. Get out and shake your monkey bag. Let's try Scrabble Rouser. Which of these symbols from the periodic table could not be used as a word in Scrabble? Iodine symbol, helium symbol, arsenic symbol, or americium symbol? You got it, player four. Pick some of the screw. Ouch, player four. Did you mean to screw yourself? I only ask because most people like to keep their cash. Um, let's try to forget that ever happened. Players one, two, and three. He, as, and am are all great two-letter Scrabble words, but iodine symbol is I, which is a word, but just a one-letter word, and there are no one-letter words in Scrabble. I like to make stories just out of the two-letter words in Scrabble. Go to my axe. It is up on my ox. Axe me. Ow! Ow! 
Thank you. Follow me down to the sea. Ocho. And now, the Purple Heart is awarded to General So. Time for some authentic Asian cuisine. Cookie fortune, cookie fortune, swift. Cookie fortune, cookie master swift. Oh yeah, that's a good stuff. Okay, here's my fortune. Find your voice. Hmm, I'd love to. So if I asked Ariel from The Little Mermaid to help me, where would she tell me to look? In a shell, in an eel, in a book, or in a trident? <laughs> What a pity. <coughs> Player one. You're missing the points. <coughs> Player two. In the tale of the Little Mermaid, Ursula takes Ariel's voice in exchange for getting legs and stores it in her shell necklace. <coughs> Ariel gets her voice back eventually, although after not speaking for a while, she was a little seahorse. <coughs> This one's called, I Give Up Worthy. I feel like I should read more classic literature, but they have such boring titles. Ugh, why can't they have cool, enticing titles like all the headlines on the internet? Which classic novel would be much better off with this title? A young orphan is approached by a convict in a graveyard. You won't believe what happens next. Great Expectations, Wuthering Heights, Crime and Punishments, or Of Mice and Men. <laughs> Player three? It's a crime how wrong you are. And now here's the punishment. <laughs> Players one, two, and four? Yep, that's pretty much what kicks off all the events of Charles Dickens' Great Expectations. <laughs> Maybe the book would be better if instead of Great Expectations, it was 15 Awesome Expectations in GIF format. <laughs> I call this one, Duck Fails a Boo Hoo. I love taking selfies, especially if I'm doing one of those sexy duck faces in them. So, I'm wondering, which of these selfies does not involve me doing a duck face? A mallard face selfie, a harlequin face selfie, a mandarin face selfie, or an appaloosa face selfie? Players two and four? Unfortunately, it's too late to untag yourself from this answer. Players one and three? Mallards, harlequins, and mandarins are all types of ducks, but appaloosas are horses. I once took a duck face selfie in the park and an old woman threw breadcrumbs at me. Talk about degrading. I mean, I ate the crumbs, but still. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, Press the X button. 2,000 big ones if you're right. But if you're wrong, you lose 2,000. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I see a jack attack in your future. Who's predicting the future? Good luck.
takes the win! Player 3, you barely won that game. You must have been sweating. I can tell because there are huge stains on your breasts and you're starting to stink. Here's something that should freshen you right up. You don't know Jack! I'm John Taylor, and starting today, get a free suit at John Taylor's Suit Emporium. Wow, how do I get a free suit? Just buy two suits and get a free suit upon purchase of your third suit. So I buy three suits and I get one free? Yes, purchase that third suit and one of your previously purchased suits becomes free. So I buy two suits, purchase one more suit, and then my first suit is free? No, the third suit is free, and the first two suits are full price, but buy one more suit suit and it's free but i'm paying for three suits and come in between two and four and get 50 percent off a fourth suit once you purchase your fifth and seventh suits two of which are free so i buy seven suits no you pay for the first second fifth and seventh suits and the fourth is half off only after the sixth suit which can't be the same as the first or third and must be of equal or lesser value to your ninth suit so i come in at 245 buy two suits and get a third free after taking half off a fourth once I've selected a fifth and sixth, which can't match my first and third, none of which can be more than my ninth suit? Exactly. That's why we call it the purchase two plus a fourth half off, fifth, seventh, select a sixth, that's a third less than the ninth free suit extravaganza. Start saving today! Ice cold beer tastes no good. This is Glug Light Spill. Glug Light Spill is the only light beer that tastes like beer without as many calories as beer. Sit ups and lifting rocks, punching cops right in the teeth. When Glug Light Spill bottles are empty, no beer comes out, so you know it's empty every time. Wearing shorts, sweating a lot, hoping this will get Jenny back. Glug Light Spill comes in a bottle with its name on the label, so you don't get confused or give it to a baby. Rock hard abs and glistening pecs. Drinking beer while exercising. Getting tipsy, massive chafing. No pain, no gain. Be a cool tattoo. Get dehydrated, don't take breaks. Water shows the babes your weakness. Must get babes to make Jenny jealous. Jenny must know you're doing alright. Glug Light's felt. Glug Light!